Well, hey there guys, this is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. What you're looking at right now are a couple different uh, necks from two different acoustic guitars. Now, which one of these, is your guess, has been oiled? That's what today's video is about. Check it out. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel. guys this is rock hard wrist the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught hey guys take a look in our playlists if you're new to the channel check out what we do and if you like what we do please subscribe we really appreciate that okay in today's video guys we're going to talk about oiling your fretboard do you really need to oil over your fretboard and if you do how do you oil it let's take a look at these two different necks that we have here now which one of these has been oiled. Can you tell? Now this is Pau Ferro. This is Rosewood. Which one of these, let me give you a good look there, has had oil applied to it and which one has not? Okay. My money says that you're gonna pick this one. This one has been oiled. This is a 1983 or so Epiphone acoustic guitar and this fretboard has never been oiled never once I'm the original owner of this guitar and I have never put one drop of oil on this this is a brand new guitar this is our Guild F250 CE and to the best of my knowledge it has not been oiled either okay now it did have some work done on it at Guitar Center they lowered the action for me and stuff and asked them to put a different set of strings on it they may have oiled it I don't know but if you look at that it doesn't uh, appear to have any oil applied to it, or if they did, they did it properly and put very, 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 very little oil on it. And again, this one's never been oiled, and it's been in all kinds of weather conditions, at the beach, in the mountains, in rain, in snow, in dry desert, just like we are now. Now, some people will say, well, what can happen is that the fretboard will dry out and it will sprout a, a fret, or a fret might pop out. Now, in, in uh, theory, that may be true, that may happen, I don't know, but it certainly has not happened to this one. And uh, so, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a former cabinet maker and furniture maker. And, uh, you know, so I have some experience with wood. No, I have not worked with guitars and that sort of thing, but I have worked with all different kinds of wood, including rosewood. But again, read what your manufacturer says. Be careful. All I'm trying to say is whether you like oil it or not, just, uh, you know, don't buy into a bunch of nonsense that might just be snake oil in reality. Okay, guys, one other real cool thing to show you that uh, one of our subscribers, BHS, man, that guy knows a lot about stringed instruments. This is a really cool tip that he had given me. Let me show that to you. Okay, guys, here we have our Guild Jumbo Guitar in its case. Now, there's a strap here for the neck, right? It's Velcro, Velcro strap. You put that down, and you strap that around, and it keeps it from jumping around in the case. Let's say if you're using the backpack situation or whatever. But the only thing is, this is going to move around here at this point, and there's going to be some friction between the guitar and this strap. So this is a cool little trick that our friend showed us, or told us about. He said, you want to do something to separate or to protect the strings through the neck from these straps. And I thought, oh yeah, you know, that makes a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it just a step further. And, then, and I'm just taking a polishing cloth here, I put it in between the strings and the fretboard, and that's to protect the frets from these straps. Because if it's jostling around, the strings might be tapping back and forth on the frets. And again, it's just one thin ply of this cloth. Uh, so that might also protect your fretboard and your frets from the strings. Now another thing is that there could be a little bit of a rash from that strap. So I'm taking this flap and I'm putting it underneath. I'm taking this flap and I'm putting it over the top. So now the bottom and the top are all protected, so is the fretboard and the frets themselves. So, now we just strap her in there, and there we go. We've got a little buffer between the strap and the guitar itself, and between the strings and the fretboard. So that would probably definitely keep everything safe there, and just keep wear off of it. 
and that sort of thing. So thanks, BHS. Another great uh, tip from him. And uh, away we go. All right, guys, this is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next video.